Hey, this is Buck Dust. Thank you very much for joining me for episode 32 of my Wolves playthrough. And we are coming in off the back of getting rid of the mech cluster up here. Uh, Sibada is broken and is wandering around in a huff. Oh, components. Yes, please. So we've got some components and plastic and dead bodies to pick up. Ether mech is... Um, oh, that's right. Very good of you. Bring it back a centipede. All right. So we are going to crack on in the morning um, when everyone's kind of recovered because everyone's looking very red and not very happy. We're going to go and raid the uh, compacted machinery site. Should pick up a lot of nice components. Very, very welcome. There's going to be hostile activity there. That's fine. I don't know quite what to expect, but that's okay. So that's going to be sort of tomorrow's effort. But meanwhile, we'll let everyone kind of relax and recover. We're coming into winter now, but we've got a fairly well stocked cupboard. Had a good harvest. And we've still got a little bit more left to harvest as well, which is great. And a little bit of Devil's Strand to come in. Maybe we'll get the Devil's Strand in before it all gets too nasty what we're gonna to have to do is probably cover up this within a very short space of time turn back on the sun lamps and then we'll get it to grow in here over winter where it's nice and warm we'll probably open that as well and probably keep that closed actually we'll see how cold it gets anyway so that's the plan and uh, well, let's crack on right an exotic goods trade to come by now we had a lot of uh, insect jelly to sell them, so that's kind of offset the cost of buying stuff. Neutro always got to keep that for the panoxy, but also I bought some jump pack tech print. That's the prereq you need to do jump packs, uh, as well as obviously the prerequisite research, but that's going to be very useful. I do need jump packs, so that's going to be critical that I get that. It's expensive, but eh, at the end of the day, we've offset most of it from the insect jelly, so that's why bugs are pretty good. They're annoying, but they're good. Unlike mechs, which you don't actually leave anything useful behind. So anyway, there we go. That's a pretty good deal. So tech print has been applied, which now unlocks jump packs to be researched, which is fantastic. <laughs> also, it actually tells you where you can get the prereqs from, which is quite useful. I guess they're the non... the non... Uh, non-tribal factions, but obviously in some cases it's just the Empire, which is why having a friendship with the Empire, I guess, is important. Yeah, but although you need, do need to be a knight or a buff to actually trade with them, so being allied is not enough. But uh, anyway, we've got jump packs now, which is awesome. So as soon as we've done what we're currently doing, which is... I have no idea. What are we doing? Not channelizer, that's right. As soon as we've done that, then we'll do jump packs, I think. Even though this other stuff's good. By regeneration, specifically, that's going to be fantastic. I do want to get jump packs. It's going to make a big difference. All right, so Ghost has finally been converted, which is great. And we will now... So basically, she's with the she's with us already. So now if we release her, in theory, she should come straight over. And she has. Perfect. All right, good. Well, that, um, that's that one person solved. Ghost is back in the room. There's no issues with... Uh, with their IDO now, they're on board. So mining and social, good, some good skills there as well. So I'm very, very happy with that. All right, good stuff. All right, so I've sent the gang, basically the five best miners, over to the component site to, uh, well, dig, dig it up, basically. There's a quite handy little shelter here, which I'll, uh, I'll capitalise on that, actually. Um, we can potentially is it quicker to chop down trees and make it out of wood i suppose it is there's some steel here with which we could use there's supposed to be enemies on this map so i don't quite know where they are going to come from hmm interesting okay well i'm gonna get the set up get some beds down we brought enough food which should last us throughout to be quite honest but um i'm guessing we don't have to pen the animals because this is like one of those temporary maps so that's going to be a bonus I think chopping trees down is just probably going to be much quicker. So I am going to get this... Right, okay. <laughs> let's chop some trees down first, shall we? Let's, let's get on with this then. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Ambush. Surprise! <laughs> it's one dude with a club. Okay, Sadako. Sad Aiko. What have you got? you got terrible clothes. You probably smell. Your annoying voice, but yeah, you're a brawler. Okay, respect where it's due, respect where it's due. All right, chaps, we've got a live one here. Let's uh, let's back everybody up. Okay, let, let me show you how Melly's done, shall we? There we go. <laughs> oh dear. All right, we're gonna have to. The inconvenience is now we're gonna have to dump his body somewhere where we're not gonna get annoyed by it the whole time. So, um, any, any of you um, psychos or... No. 
that's annoying. Right, who's in the best mood? Mom's in a pretty good mood. Right, Mom will get you to shift that body. Oh boy. All right, let's do that. Uh, Private size hauling, yes. And everyone else can get back to chopping down trees and mining. Now let's get everyone's mining. Mm. Now I need to chop, chop down the trees first. Let me just rescind these mining orders. I thought I was being cute, but uh, that doesn't work very well, does it? All right, there you go. Cool. Well, we made a quick shelter. It seems that horses can't be penned, even if you might want them to. So, we're, yeah, the map's not very big, so we've had to just um, unload a horse manually and just grab some of the uh, the bits we brought with us, but that's fine. And um, this thing's going to yield insane amount of components. This is absolutely fantastic, so we shouldn't have to spend too much longer here. Probably get away tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, fantastic. Well, the... Uh, <laughs> The excitement carries on. The caravan's been detected in 8.6 days. Got some mechanoids going to start arriving in the area. Yeah, we'll be done by then. Totally done. It'll all be good. So uh, nothing much to worry about there, I don't think. But we're cracking on with this. We've got um, 27, 65 components. That's so good. I love this. And we are out of here. That is pretty impressive. I love that. That is so good. Let's have a quick check on the final tally. 124 components. Well, that's going to keep us going for a little while. I think we're off this map now. I'll let me. I'll, I'll let me, and then we'll go. And on the way back, the caravan has been ambushed. I'm not surprised. Those, that, uh, those components are worth quite a bit. Yeah. Anyway, we've got uh, four people with flop hats. <laughs> Base bows and arrows. Come on. Really? I don't rate your chances, my friends. I don't rate your chances. Anyway, let's set my friends up here. Loop -a -loop. And we'll put the melee fighters at the front. I'm going to say that. They're fast. They are fast. Have we got any spells we can use? Let's have a quick look. Manhunter Pulse, Beckon, Blinding Pulse, mm, Chunk Skip. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chunk Skip, Chunk Skip, Chunk Skip. I know you desperately want to be useful. Oh, look at them getting all like, oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Want to get try and get a little bit cute, do we? Well, nothing outranges my assault rifles that you've got. So, mm, how much have we got? Okay. Put the assault rifles back here. Coffee can stay back for kind of close support. Hyper, meanwhile, is going to go and pay them a visit. And Mom is going to wait for Mr. Tiger here to appear. Come on, Hyper. Oh, look at Mr. Flank here. <laughs> All right, never mind. All right. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not overly fast if I'm... What's his chance of hitting anyway? 18%. I think we'll kind of live with that. <laughs> it's wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Brilliant. Hyper, smack him up. Smack, stunned. And smack. He's doing quite well. Right, Ragavon, there, Ghost, there. Beautiful. Caravan battle, you're not fleeing, you're not going anywhere. We've got, got a lesson to teach. His uh, double stone cover's pretty handy though. What's the chance to hit? 24%. Oh, never mind. Hey, coffee and mum, I guess you're not uh, needed, really. Still gonna hit you, bud. No, I wouldn't run. I wouldn't run. You gonna make it? Is he gonna make it off the map? Oh wow, that sucks. Oh well, got a little bit of pemmican out of it and um, some terrible weapons, which I think I'll leave. Oh well, never mind. Let's uh, reform the caravan. Outstanding, the multi-analyzer has been completed. The only thing stopping us from building one straight away is not plasteel, as you'd normally expect, but gold. We don't have any gold. Her. Okay, what are we gonna do next? We are going to do jump packs, as I said earlier. Um, it's only 4,000. It's not too bad, considering my <laughs> the analyzer was 8,000. So let's crack on with the um, the jump packs. We've got the prereqs. We got them earlier on. So that's going to be awesome. And we need to work out how to get gold. Now, I think I can tune this thing into gold. Yes, I can. Oh, amazing. All right, let's turn that bad boy back on. I had it switched off, so the other person will be doing research rather than um, working on this. So that's actually really good news. Now, what I've done is I've actually uh, created this kind of uh, extended perimeter around the rich soil that is 
up here. There's a lot of it. So when the summer kicks in, um, I'll be able to use that to, to great effect, basically. And that's where most of my growing will be, rather than in the kind of dribs and drabs that I've got in here, which is just kind of slow, really. It's close, you know, it's close to, to where we are, but it's slow. So um, I'm going to use this instead. Now, everybody... Um, all the uh, all the attackers are going to come funneling in through here now to get to the kill box. So I'll place a couple of spike traps here. Meanwhile, I'm going to stick a door in here so we can just kind of literally go up and round, um, which I think makes a lot of sense. So, not that the kill box has been heavily used, apart from <laughs> these guinea pigs. Apart from that, everyone else has been like they've tunneled round or I had to go out to get them. So, yeah, we shall see. Alrighty, well, the mechs always strike early in the morning, and here they are. It's a mech hive dropping right in on top of us. Quite a few, by the looks of it. With that number, I'm hoping no centipedes. Centipedes, although, if they're at close range, they're not that dangerous. Because you can engage them in close combat quite easily. It's the little scythers. Those nasty lancers as well. So, Alright, I'm sending Jorik up to get the EMP launcher. I'm going to get everybody else up, apart from Elise, obviously. And it's going to be a while till they come out of their pods here. So what I'm probably going to do is stick a lot of them kind of here. And oh, Guga's running around, isn't he? Right lung destroyed. Hmm, didn't spot that. Okay. What have you got? No, it's not too many. Right, hang on. Animals. Need to go animal safe. Beep. How much time have we got before they pop out? Oh, uh, pikemen. Okay, lots and lots of pikemen. This is good. Oh, mainly... Oh, wow. Okay, this is not going to be too difficult. Two scythers, two lancers, and the rest pikemen. Okay. That's fine. More uh, more plastil, I suppose. Um, right, so we're going to put the melee fighters on the outsides. Perhaps with shields, actually. Um, Hoovy can go on the outside as well. Right, one inside. Hide Goon doesn't have a weapon because he broke recently. I haven't re-equipped him with his legendary minigun. <laughs> That's annoying. All right, Hide Goon, just stay there. We will carry you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Here they come. Here they come. Um, yeah. All right, Zhang, you on the outside, Yun, Yura, sorry. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Ah, oh, trying to smash their way in. Okay, that's not going to end well for you, I don't believe. You're going to come over here. Mom's going to hold this side. All right, shield belt people can fight. That's absolutely fine. Let's get them out of here. Let's focus fire, shall we? Okay, you're always picking up some cuts. I think you only need to move up, and these two guys need to come out and attack this one. Hoovy, meanwhile, can... Uh, he can join in the fun over here, actually. Oh, Ghost took a direct hit. Ouch. Ouchie, out. Was that even aimed at him? Yeah, it was. Damn. All right, well, you're going to die. You're going to die very much. All right, Halcyon. I see what you're doing, but you need to be a little bit closer, my friend. Viper, get stuck in. Sweet. All right, you three, move up. Attack this one and that one. Oh, wow. That's that's a lot. That is a lot. Mom, I might want to hang back. You haven't got a shield belt. Um, these guys are getting wrecked. Beautiful. Oh, there's, there's always a hole. <laughs> No, don't go hitting any boomalopes. That's not cool. That is not cool. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Hide again, you can still be useful. You can still be useful. Um, we're going to pop you up to here. We're going to put everyone else on... Hang on. Let's put it on hold fire just for now. Um, hold fire. Uh, hold fire. We're going to move Hide Goon up to here so he can start skipping these guys down to the waiting melee fighters. Alright. Oh, Summer Shield Belt's gone. Hyper Shield Belt's gone. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, skip. Skippity skip. Oh, it's not quite wide enough. Right, you guys can go up and attack. That one, that one, that one. Um, Hide Goon is moving up. Hyper Shield has gone, which is going to lay him open to a little bit of an issue. Mm, excuse me for these uh, for these alerts. I'll turn those off. Right, Hyper, what situation is he in? He's okay. What's he got? 87% sharp. 
a seven percent sharp. That's a lot of incoming fire. Um, what have we got? What have we got? All right, here's what we can do. We can beckon in one of these so it's it kind of breaks it slightly. Hydegoon's going to skip another one in. Meanwhile, I think we should just bring these guys around and let's just kind of wreck them. So I'm going to move these guys up to here. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Hoovy Mule is okay. His shield is holding. All right, let's do that. All right, so he's beckoning. Hydegoon can now skip this one down to here. So Hyper can smash him up. Beautiful. Hoovy's shield is still fine. And we're going to then, he's going to skip the remaining one over to here. And these guys are going to attack it. Beautiful. A skip is probably one of the most useful skills. Excellent. Good job, Haigu. Right, they're done. Now they... <laughs> yep, Fire at Will's turned off. Let's turn Fire at Will back on. Hoovy's all good. You can come up to there. Um... This one that's been beckoned, so it's not being managed, is it? Hide Goon, come to here. Alright, skip that one over to here. Alright, you're attacking that one. Beautiful. You can't beat the dying scream of Pikeman. Very, very good. I see Marm went down. Uh, I got blasted with the needle guns. Nasty. Okay, that has dealt with that. Oh, there's one more. Okay. These guys can go on. I don't think they're going to make it, but that's all fine. So let's do that. Uh, Phoenix is going to rescue Marm. Ruckus is going to rescue Ghost. Uh, we are going to get that built as post haste. Coffee is good at building, so coffee can coffee can do that right now, actually, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, prioritize working. Jorik never actually made that with the EMP. <laughs> Sorry, Jorik. <laughs> um, okay. Now, which is Jorik? Jorik is almost same with both skills. Was he a shooter or was he... Uh, let's have a look. Jorik was down as a... Me oh, he's down as ranged. Okay, so we'll give him... I think we'll give him the sniper rifle. We always, it's always worth to have somebody on sniper. So let's do that. Jorik. I've lost Jorik. There he is. So I'm going to do that and then do that. All right. Guys, you should already be attacking. I'm going to got you all on sort of aggro. Aggro at uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Strange. Hardgoon can, can do your thing. Excellent. Right. Everyone can go. Beautiful. Off you go. Off everyone, off everyone can trot. I want to pick up these plastic long swords and whatnots. The animal's going outside neating. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Well, there we go. That's all done. Another mech raid taken care of uh, with no serious injuries. We've got a couple of, uh, a couple of minor casualties, but it wasn't too bad. So Elise has just received Inspired Taming, which is fantastic. Now, Porgs are not that far away from Wolves, so it makes sense that we would try and get the opportunity to tame a wolf. Now, what's the minimum taming skill? Five. <laughs> That's simple. In fact, it's quite easy to tame Wolves. They actually want to be tamed, if I remember correctly. Hang on, wildlife. Uh, wargs. Tame chance is 80%. It's quite high, really. They're not that wild. So I'm going to get Elise to come up and just have, have a go. Um, there is another wargon map who's female, um, which is a shame they're both female. Because um, we could then try and tame the other one with an armed guard, of course. <laughs> but I think it's probably worth a go. So Elise is going to get on that. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it's a foregone conclusion. I've queued it. Anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you the, the attempt anyway. So Elise has come up here. She's taming the warg. It's minus nine and she's going out wearing absolutely nothing at all. Hmm. Um, yeah, I need to restrict her to inside now, I think, once she's done this. Come on, come on. Inspired taming. Here's some insect meat. Oh, look at that. Lovely. What should we call the walk? I think I need to come up with a good name. Meanwhile, let's get, let's get Elise back inside. Elise, just go inside. Quick. <laughs> it's cold out here. And she slept in the cold as well. But anyway, we've got a walk. Fantastic. I love it. Our wolf army is growing. Do you think wargs will mate with wolves? I don't think so. It's a shame. It's a shame. Well, the winter is well and truly here, and we're going to go and do an AD raid. After the AD raid, we're going to go and do this, um, well, next sub-quest of the Strong Cube plot line, where, we, where they're going to take a shuttle with five of our colonists on, and uh, we're probably going to have a fight with a smoky army after hacking some consoles. All right, fine. Now, it's uh, quite early. We can let people eat, and then we're going to go out and he uh, head out and go and knock down 
an ancient danger. I think we've got to be quite quick about it. So, yeah, might bring up some prisons if we're lucky. Don't, don't know what we're going to face, but I'm going to get a caravan together. And we are probably going to go and just do one of these squares. You can't do one next to us, so we're going to have to do one around like we did with this one. I'm going to take 25 wood with me, though. Um, just so we can build up the door very, very quickly. Although, quite honestly, I just, could just chop down a tree. It's not a lot of difference. What I am going to do is take a turret and a battery, I think. Mm, got a turret here. We've got a battery. I think we could do it. Is that? Nah, it's not stored. Huh. Okay. Well, oh, never mind. It'd be very good to have one of those uh, mech power... Uh, what do they call them? Um, the um, power thingies from the mechs. That's, that'd be very useful indeed. But I don't, don't have any of those yet. You know, it takes so long to put these caravans together. It's now one, two, three. I mean, there's you've got almost no hope of going out on a quick caravan trip anywhere. Um, I mean, they're just sat here. These caravan mechanics really do need to be improved considerably because if they thought 3 p.m., 3 p.m. we still got a, a straggler, so Ragabond's coming now. So we started at, what, 7, 8 maybe? It's just taking us almost the whole day just to put the caravan together. Not brilliant, but we may have to rest um, overnight before we get to the actual the actual hex. Uh, oh, oh well, there we, there we go. So I got here nice and early, and um, now I've done all the caravan admin to get the donkeys into somewhere and bring all the stuff in, because I've settled this is not caravan hex, which means we can't just leave instantly, we have to load it all up. So I've done that, and another day's gone by. <laughs> it's just, it never used to be like this. Uh, animals wandering off the map was... Uh, yeah, so there we go. So I think we're going to have to spend another day here. What I will do now, though, let's let's just... Ancient danger, yeah, no kidding. What I'm going to do, I'm going to deconstruct that. Uh, where's coffee? Coffee is always very quick at this. Coffee is one of the ones you stayed behind. Okay, hide goon, you can deconstruct that. What's your construction skills? Five. No. Just for the sake of speed. All right, hold there for a second. All right, everybody else. Oops. It's going to come here. I'm feeling that I don't don't have too much to worry about with this. So who is it? Some mechs. Okay, that's fine. We'll come back here. Uh, Scyther and a... Oh, okay, that's fine. We're gonna... Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go behind cover, first of all, one assumes. You'll fire from here. So you two can focus on this one, uh, Hide Goon, who it looks like he's being chased quite quickly. Just come to there, and Hyper's going to come there to intercept. No, oh, excellent. Hoovy, actually, Hoovy can go for that one. Hyper's going to go for this one. Run away, guys. That one. In your own time, guys. There's only two of them. Right, what have we got here? Skill trainer animals, we've got some glitter world, we've got a psychic animal pulsar, and uh, we've got some unknowns in here. Okay, fine. That's a good start. Let's get everybody over here. Reminders, ceremonies, balloons or something. Right, uh, that's... Oh, Mom. Mom's had his leg chopped off. I must remember that about Mom. He's just not, not at all quick. All right, uh, how's the yacht? No, that's quite excessive. Let's just get a uh, Google in here just to fire at one of those. No, can't target them. What the heck is that? Hermetic crate. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five. How many? We got one, two, three, three. We got three melee people. All right. All right let's move these guys in. Now, the interaction spot is just below. So if I get... Let's put... Let's go there. And Hoovy to go there. And then these guys can kind of focus down here. And then Mom can come down to this one. And then they can focus shooting at 
anything that comes out of here. All right, let's open it then. Let's do this. Come on, Hyper. Open it up. And they all open up at the same time. Dip, 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 dip. I need to just make sure these guys don't fire just yet. Ah, everyone's come out. Not in a great shape. Okay, Narakis, Narakis, chemical fascination, psychically deaf and ugly. Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Uh, who's the other one? Barrett, Barrett, Barrett. Fast learner, slow poke. Yeah, no, I don't think so. All right, never mind. Um, they're going to join if we put them on, on uh, if we rescue them, put them on mats. I don't particularly care about that. Um, you are going to open the hermetic crate, see what happens. Meanwhile, these other things can be deconstructed. Uh, those can be undone. So what we are going to do is going to put a door. Let's get a... How much wood have we got? We've got quite a bit of wood. Yeah, for it. Wow, that's a lot of wood. Okay, we're going to get um, get a campfire. Maybe two campfires going. We're going to get a door on, and we're going to get... Um, let's get some light. Stick a torch lamp in the middle here. And uh, a door. It looks like we're going to spend the night here. Um, fortunately, it's actually quite clean, and it's probably quite impressive as well. So let me just sort that out. Structure, wooden door. Just bang it on there, so you guys can go. And uh, we get four advanced components. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's very tasty. Very tasty indeed. Deconstruct. All right, brilliant. Thank you, Mom. Just, mm, okay, so that's right, you get uranium and metal out of it. All right, that's good. That's a pretty easy haul. What's this? Marble. Don't, mm, don't want marble. I mean, not really. Slate tile, slate wall. Right. So we've got a table. It'd be good to build a couple of stools to stop the, the debuffs for um, furniture. For eating without a table. Everyone's favourite debuff. There you go. Got some light. Fantastic. What have we got here? No, 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 no. All right. Oh, it's a bit dirty. Got some, some filth here. Of course, they're bleeding everywhere, which doesn't help. But I can't move them, unfortunately. What's it actually like in here? Awful. Yeah, I guess. Clean this room, and Phoenix can clean this room as well. All right. Okay, let's get this tidied up. All right, that's all done. We've got everything cleaned up. Uh, we've moved the bodies out. It's somewhat impressive, and it's 20 degrees centigrade, so they're about as toasty as can be in their little sleep bags. So I think that's a, that's a win. So we've come out of it with four advanced components, um, some glitter oil medicine, um, some bits and pieces. It's deteriorating out here, but we're not going to be here for very long. We'll be out of here in the morning. So probably a little bit more faff than I would do again, maybe. Because getting the caravan together does take a bit of a long time. It's a bit of a drag, to be honest. So let me just set up the caravan hitching spot. Put it kind of there. So you can just bring stuff out of here and get all this stuff as well. All right. So it's the morning, we're just loading up the caravan, and this has solved our gold problem. 146 gold, which means we can build the... I forgot what it's called. <laughs> the research doodab. I'll look it up in a minute. Because uh, I need 20 for that, I think. So that's that's a really good haul. Um, I mean, I think I'm being a little bit churlish. I think it has been worth it, actually. We got some good stuff out of this. Probably not the insect meat. Did everyone know? We brought that with us, didn't we? Hmm. Weird. All right, so we're not going to take uranium. Um, doesn't seem to be a lot of point to it. It's not going to actually. It's not going to slow us down particularly. It just slows us down loading back up. Everyone else is dead. We can take back these for the metal and or plasteel, and I think we are done. So we're going to form it up and get out of here. All right. Well, the caravan is back. They are making their way onto the map, and we are able to make the multi analyzer now. Multi analyzer. That was the one that I was trying to think of and couldn't. <laughs> Now, we do need to do the conversion ceremony. I think we've run out of time in this episode, but we'll do that on the next one. Uh, but that's going to speed things up no end. 10%, I think it speeds up uh, research. Is it 10%? Um, does it actually say? It doesn't say because it's not... Um, I think it does. 10% it adds to the research speeds. So that's absolutely brilliant. They've almost um, finished doing jump packs, which is excellent. And then we are going to do multi-barrel weapons. So we can make our own mini cuts because... Oh my gosh, it's so hard to get hold of, of miniguns when you're not fighting the Empire. Now, we have 142 components, which is so good. Um, so I'm very keen to find more. I'm actually not going to tune that to gold anymore. I want that tuned back to components. It doesn't reset that to zero, so that's actually quite nice. 
So we'll get another bunch of components because there's one thing that miniguns eat through is components. I think it's 20 components to make one minigun. I've got two. I just need a couple more. I'm not going to do a full on uh, Francis John and get everyone with a minigun. Um, I'm going to have maybe four, three, four, five, something like that. But not, not everybody, because I think it's good fun to kind of mix the weapons up. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, so, yeah, that's that, really. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, I'm beginning to think that the Ancient Danger Raids aren't as worth it. They take a lot of time and effort, and they're not as worth it as raiding kind of settlements. So I think in tomorrow's episode, or maybe the next day, or whenever I'm going to bring out the next one, because it, I'm so busy at the moment, so again, apologies for the lack of videos recently, probably going to hit these guys, because Skunk Town... They are going to have some good uh, good weaponry and good armour, hopefully. They're a cannibal pirate gang. That's interesting. Okay. So we're going to hit these guys next. I don't know how far that is, but with horses, 2.91. So probably 50% speed increase on horses. So I don't know. That's fine. Um, we'll probably do that. I need to increase these to my drop pods as well. Because I do have the drop pod ability, so it'd be quite good to kind of branch out and use those. So knock down some of these bases and get some, some huge loot. So we'll probably do that. Right, there we have it. Thanks for watching. We are in the middle of winter now, almost in the middle of winter, so things are getting cold. Devil's Strand crops coming in. Um, we made a couple of jackets here. It seems to me that nobody wants to put on the poor Devil's Strand duster. They'd rather wear other things, but we can make some more um, for the spring because these are going to be coming in soon, this one especially. And I'm going to do another Devil's Strand uh, chamber up here on the rich soil, which will increase the growing speed, as we can see up here. So this kind of perimeter has been done now. And uh, so the people will just come in, the hostiles are coming through here, into that. And there's been no route in from this side. So, anyway, I'll shut up now. Thanks for watching, you take care of yourself. This is Bug, putting the plug.